first we will study about the concept of uniform motion so suppose we have an object which starts moving from a reference point or starting point a the now in 5 seconds time it covers a distance of 10 meters and reaches a point b then in next 5 seconds it covers a distance of another 10 meters and reaches the point c and then again in the next 5 seconds it covers a distance of another 10 meters to reach the point d in this way the object has covered a total of 30 meters in total time 15 seconds but here the object is covering equal distances in equal time intervals and such a motion or such type of situation when an object covers equal distances in equal time intervals it is said to be in uniform motion next we will study about non-uniform motion suppose the object again starts its motion from a point a and it reaches a point b which is at a distance of 10 meters and it takes a time of 2 seconds to reach point B. From B, the object again covers some distance of 7 meters in the next 2 seconds and reaches the point C. And then it covers another 12 meters of distance to reach the final destination point D and in this 12 meters also it takes a time of 2 seconds. So we see that here our object is covering unequal distances in equal time intervals. Equal time intervals of 2 seconds are there but the object is covering unequal distances. So such a situation or such type of motion where object covers unequal distances in equal time intervals, the object is said to be in non-uniform motion. Again, uh, if we take another example in which the object starts its motion from the point A and covers a distance of 10 meters to reach point B, and it takes a time of 2 seconds to do it. Then from point B, it goes to point C, which is also at a distance of 10 meters again from B to C. But this time, it takes 7 seconds to cover this distance. And then it finally goes to its destination that is point D which is also say at a distance of 10 meters and this time the object takes a time of 3 seconds to cover this distance to reach the final point D. In this situation the object is covering equal distances but in unequal time intervals. So this is also an example of non-uniform motion. So, we can very easily say from the above two examples that when an object covers unequal distances in equal time intervals or equal distances in unequal time intervals like in example 1 and 2, unequal distances in equal time interval or equal distances in unequal time intervals in both the situations, the object is said to be in non-uniform motion.